In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a 3D model of the tip of a Phillips screwdriver. The Blender version that I'm using is 4.1. In the video, I'll provide specific distance and scale values to help you follow along. Feel free to use alternative values if you prefer. We'll start by deleting the cube. Press X to do that. Then press Shift A and add a mesh circle. Now tab into edit mode and press A to select all. We're going to extrude this on the Z axis four times. So press E, then Z, then one, then enter. Then press E, then Z, then two, then enter. Then press E, then Z, then one, then enter. Then press E, then Z, then 1.5, then enter. Now switch to face select mode. Next, we're going to select four faces on the top row of faces. Each face that we'll select will be 90 degrees from the previous one. One way to do this is to press one on the number pad for front view. Then select the face that's just to the right of the blue center line. Then press control one on the number pad for the back view. This time, add the face on the right side of the blue line to the selection by holding down the shift key while clicking it. Now press three on the number pad for side view. Then hold down the shift key and select the face on the right side of the blue line. Next, press control three on the number pad for a view of the other side. Then while holding down the shift key, select the face on the right side of the blue line. Now we're going to scale them on the X and Y axis, but not the Z axis. To do that, press S, then shift Z, then 0.15, then enter. Next, switch to vertex select mode and select these top outside vertices. Then scale by pressing S, then point two, then enter. Now select these six vertices. Then scale them by pressing S, then point five, then enter. Then repeat this three more times. Next, while holding down the shift key, select all of the same vertices. Then press seven on the number pad for top view. Since we scaled these four sets of vertices separately, they lost their round shape relative to each other. To fix this, from the Mesh menu select Transform, and then to Sphere, then type 1 and enter. Now press S to scale and scale it up in size until it's approximately the same size as the rest of the screwdriver tip. Next, switch to Edge Select mode. Then select this edge. Then while holding the Shift key, add these three other edges to the selection. Then move them down by pressing G, then Z, then minus 0.8, then Enter. Now let's add a subdivision surface modifier. So tab into object mode. Add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to set both of these values to 3. Then right click and select Shade Smooth. Then tab back into edit mode. Next we're going to sharpen some edges. So select these seven edges. Then add these seven edges to the selection. Then also add these seven. And finally add these seven. Now bevel these edges by pressing Control B, then point zero 0.02, then Enter. Now open the last operation panel. To make these edges even sharper, change the number of segments to two. Next, we're going to sharpen these edges. To make it easy to select them, turn on X-Ray. Then switch to Vertex Select Mode. Now select this set of vertices. I'm going to press the period on the number pad to zoom in. Next, hold down the Shift key and click on the two end vertices to deselect them. We're going to bevel these selected edges. If we don't deselect the two vertices on the end, then our model will look pinched in these areas. To add the bevel, press Ctrl-B, 
then 0 .05, then Enter. Since we previously set the number of segments to 2, this bevel will also use two segments. Now we need to repeat these steps three more times. So select these vertices and then deselect the vertices on the end. Then press Ctrl B, then point zero 0.05, and then Enter. Then again. Then again. Now let's work on the very tip of the screwdriver. So select all of these vertices at the end. We can turn off X-Ray now. Next press F and select Make Edge Face. Now we'll bevel this edge. So press Ctrl B and drag it until some of the edges are overlapping. Then open the last operation panel and enable the Clamp Overlap option. This will give us the largest bevel without overlaps. If you look closely, you can see some ripples on this top surface. We can minimize this by increasing the number of segments to four. Now let's work on the other end. So select the bottom vertices, then extrude by pressing E, then Z, then minus 30, then Enter. Then add a face by pressing F and select Make Edge Face. Then press I and inset it a little. To get rid of these ripples, press I and inset it one more time. Next, tab into Object Mode. Then rotate it by pressing R, then X, then 90, then Enter. We're done modeling the tip of the screwdriver. Now let's make a floor for it to sit on and then set up some lighting then we'll be ready to set up the material for it. So press Shift A and select a mesh plane. Then scale it by pressing S, then 100, then Enter. Then press G and drag it to the bottom. Now press 7 on the number pad for top view and select the light source. Change the power to 5000. Change the radius to 3. Then duplicate it by pressing Shift D and drag it here. Now we have a good environment for setting up the material. So press Z and switch to rendered view. I'm going to turn off overlays for this part. Then set the render engine to cycles. If you have a supported GPU, you can select it here to speed up rendering. Now select the screwdriver tip and add a material. I'm going to set the base color by using a hex value of A7A18F. Then set the metallic value to 1 and the roughness to 0 0.25. Here are a few renders of this screwdriver tip that I did from different angles. If you would like to see how to make a handle for this screwdriver, then you may want to watch another video that I made which will show you how. I'll put a link to it in the video description. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.